I right, figure I'll do a response video <laughs> from this kind of um, dark <laughs> location. Yeah, the power went out, but it's nice and quiet in here. Uh, so that's kind of nice. And I gotta hold the camera just because it's hard to get the position right with the candles <laughs> and the little LED light, which is working pretty good. It really isn't terrible. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to respond to this video to that uh, fact versus religion girl <laughs> because. I don't know, it was a bizarre video. It's got like 2,000 views, almost 500 comments. Um, but most of them are just exchanges between these persons, you know, argue with each other about who's a stalker and whatnot. And the whole thing is just kind of wacky. Um, okay, yeah, so the guy's some kind of Buddhist. Um, you know, hardly uh, the most obscene uh, individual on the YouTube. And uh, she has the whole video calling him a pathological narcissist you know, and uh, disputing his claim of um, a fact-based universe, I guess, with her claim that's a fact that, uh, you know, she can label him um, with a psychiatric condition that apparently <laughs> um, uh, she's qualified to diagnose. Even though she says she's not qualified, she can read the definition on Wikipedia. <laughs> you know, uh, like the definition means anything anyway, like the terminology means anything, like the whole idea of even coming up with the word narcissist makes any sense. Was that ever a qualified human condition, narcissist? I mean, it's silly, isn't it? I mean, doesn't everybody have some sort of um, selfish um, self-perception of grander worth and value? <laughs> you know, and now you you know exactly where the excessive line is, where they've crossed the line, and now they're they're too self-loving. Um, what a pile of crap! But I mean, somebody could equally label you something. I mean, you're awful pretentious and patronizing. I mean, she really is a bitch. <laughs> you know, uh, she called him a twat, I guess, in the in the title of the video, and you know, pretentious twat kind of defines you. I was kind of uh, disappointed that the ghost of impersonal relationship or whatever <laughs> the ghosted person something whatever her name is um wacky ghosty name for an atheist anyway uh you know she's sort of i, I don't know she's they're getting into this whole argument with these people about harassment or something and you're like well why don't you just block them from your channel if you don't like their comments and it's like they can't even it's not even comments like you know, rude personal comments, they're just stupid comments, like, I don't want to argue your religion, or I don't want to argue your Buddhism, kind of crap, and it's like, what the, f well then, just tell them no, just say, go away, and you block them, the end, uh, but to call that a person who's stalking her, harassing or whatever the word is they use, it's just excessive language, so the whole thing just makes you wonder what the hell this is about. It seems clear there's some sort of personality issues here. Oh, that's much better. Should have started from there. Um, you know, I don't know what it is. Oh, power failure, by the way. I didn't mention that the power went out. And that's why um, I'm making this video in sort of a weird atmosphere. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah, I don't, there's nothing to say. I mean, uh, you know, it, it, I, guess I saw one video of her, his, where he was put her in the label of um, the naive atheist. Um, I was the headliner in the swearing atheist category. I thought that was kind of funny. Like somehow swearing is, oh, that disqualifies all your philosophy. Now you, you said a swear word, so the philosophy is now disqualified. Um, so that's kind of silly, uh, especially from atheists. I mean, like they're afraid of words now. A Buddhists are apparently afraid of words. Words have magical powers, maybe, uh, by Buddhist law or something. Um, I think that's just part of the pretense, uh, you know, it's, <coughs> they have acquired their own sensibilities, <coughs> and, uh, they're just, um, files, you know, whatever you want to, you know, put that file word on the end of, end of it, you know, and so they're, uh, peace and quiet files, or, um, contemplation files, or whatever, but, yeah, they're, they've, you know, they're in their own niche, niche, <laughs> and so they don't want to, you know, anything that uh, doesn't uh, fit into their definition of elegant and sophisticated philosophy, you know, they disqualify it because it's too crude in how it's, you know, portrayed or displayed. It's just kind of 
silly for a serious philosopher to talk that way. So, anyway. Uh, I'm getting tired. <sighs> so, yeah, I really, there's not much to say on it. I just thought it was worth making a video just because I found it um, surprisingly silly video. I mean, there's no content. I mean, the whole video was just this, I'm going to demonstrate how he's a pathological narcissist. And she didn't even do that, <laughs> let alone um, disprove some argument he made because he claims there's a fact in the universe or something. I don't even know what her contention is. Um, uh, yeah, she's big on science. Fine. Who's, who's against science? He's not against science. Um, you know, in what, you don't think philosophy is scientific? Well, I think that's really ignorant. Um, philosophy is the first science, really. It's just applying your intelligence to the circumstance and trying to reason the truth out of what you can glean as facts. And then, if, once you acquire the knowledge that your senses can be somewhat unreliable, then you have a balance against that, because you know that you're a, uh, a desiring machine, and you figure out, oh yeah, I have a bias for certain to, s to see certain truths, and I should be careful not to see truths that just please my sensibilities. Um, yeah, but it's no big deal once you recognize where the traps are. Um, thinking is science. Uh, <laughs> it really is. Uh, you know, adding the logic up, however you want to look at it, uh, that's the first science. Um, the conclusions we gain logically are just as valid as the ones we build out of observational experiments. We're doing experiments in our brain all the time, trying to discern uh, reality from fantasy, measuring, um, weighing uh, different arguments uh, to, to, to glean out of it all some definition of our reality. And uh, yeah, so this guy has got a lot right and he's got some wrong. I just don't see the point of this pathological narcissist crap. What's what's the victory? Ah, I've diagnosed him with a psychiatric condition, therefore I've disqualified his philosophy. I don't think that works. And I don't think it's fair. And it's really cheap and silly and very unscientific. Yeah, let's just put it there. So, uh, really bad video. I mean, 500 positive ratings. I mean, it looks like a five-star video for what was just a hatchet job, a cheap hatchet job at that. It didn't even have any real substance. So, um, yeah, really stupid, weird fucking video. Bravo. <laughs> You've been weird and strange and stupid. So, we'll give you a little star for that anyway. Uh, yeah, so that's enough of video. Gave me something to do. Made my arm tired, so now I have to go to bed. So they give me an excuse to go to sleep, because now my arm's tired. So I can sleep away the power failure and then get back to my technology. <laughs> I miss it already. <laughs> it's been a terrible I have a whole hour without my computer. <laughs> yeah, I don't even like it not making noise. I mean, I'm just so used to that noise all the time. So anyway, um, yeah, that's the end of the video, I think. Yeah, it's good enough. Yeah. Yeah, that's good.